We talking about hot dogs? Yeah. All we know is the people like to hear from Jarvis. Oh, they do. Not. They do. <laughs> it's machinists mic'd up. Mic, mic'd up. Mic'd up machinists. Mm. So what are we working on? Knives. We are back at the shop today. We are working on that next batch of 40 lookouts. Uh, they're all gonna be hand ground, just like those first 10, like we talked about in the last couple videos. Uh, today, what we're doing, we are cutting out the handle material. In that first video, we asked for you guys to comment and let us know what kind of handle material you would like to see on um, this next batch. OD Green Micarta was the resounding answer. We listened. That is what we're gonna do on these next 40. So they are on the router table right now being cut out. Um, and then Mac is actually going to hand fit every one of those scales to every knife. So we're gonna get to take a look at that, see how he does that process. Um, we're also gonna be able to see us uh, um, lasering out the COA coins that we're gonna be doing with these, um, as well as uh, checking in on the boxes. I know I think the bottoms are, are finishing up, so we can take a look at those. So stay tuned, we got a lot of cool stuff to show you today. So here we are lasering the COA coins that we're gonna do with this next batch. You like using lasers? I do. What's your favorite part about lasers? The lasers. <laughs> Just the, the lasers. lasers. Just like this. Personal light show. It is pretty crazy. It kind of hurts your eyes. Uh, Just a little bit. If you look right into it. it. Yeah. It's fun. It's good for you. That's true. See, you guys are used to it. I am not used to it. So in case you haven't noticed, we have this new logo which is our I logo with the American flag behind it. Jody, our illustrator, he, uh, he drew that for us. Turned out pretty cool. So we're gonna put these on the back of the coin. Is this one done or no? no. There's nothing on the front yet. There's the back. Ooh, thumbnail? Made in Chattanooga, Tennessee by these boys. Yeah, so each of these 40s are going to come with a coin that is lasered in-house designed by us. So the first 10 came with one as well. They were numbered one of 10, first batch. The Lookout, made in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Here, in case you're wondering why we named it The Lookout, Lookout Mountain is probably the most iconic landmark in Chattanooga area. Uh, downtown Chattanooga sits right at the base of it. There's Lookout, Raccoon, and Signal Mountain. Lookout Mountain is directly behind our building. That's where we got the inspiration from it. Uh, definitely uh, a, a cool landmark here in Chattanooga that most people know. I also noticed I have a dirty lens. That's why we carry bandanas, friends. If you don't carry a bandana in your pocket every day, you should. It comes in handy a lot. So this is where the new mill is gonna go. They got it kind of mapped out. It was supposed to be here last week. It's uh, five days after when they said it would be here, and uh, yeah, you know, delivery dates aren't quite ready. So, but this is where it's going to go, rigged into the electrical system and all that stuff that uh, is above my pay grade. I don't know about you boys, but I'm starving. Yep. Let's go eat some food. Let's do it. Let's eat some food. Jarvis, let's eat food. I'm starving. In case you're wondering what we had for lunch, which you probably aren't, we went to a place called Han Mi, Korean place here in Chattanooga that is very good. If you're in the Chattanooga area, it's on Broad Street. That's Kate. Kate works for us. She does customer service. You've probably met Kate through email or uh, possibly Tyler. They run our customer service. They're awesome. Let me know in the comments if you talk to Kate in email. She's great. Team Kate or Team Tyler, which one are you? I was talking, team Tyler. yes, Team Kate or Team Tyler. <laughs> Kate, which, te which team are you on? I mean, obviously Team Kate. Team Kate! Mac, choose wisely. Team Kate? Team Kate, dang it! <laughs> team Tyler! <laughs> team Tyler! <laughs> <laughs> Just because we, we need a fight of some sort in here. This is <laughs> Team Kate HQ. We should get <laughs> Team Kate headquarters <laughs> right here. For some reason we have this. This is an oxalotl. Still not quite sure what that is. It's like a tadpole. Fish salamander. Thing. Fish salamander. He looks like he's about There's to turn an... into something else. But... <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> but... He's in transition of some sort. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you about to get wings? How does this work? Oh, there's a tail. Oxalotls. That is a weird animal. For some reason we have them in the machine shop. I don't know why. Who approved that? <laughs> Whatever keeps the boys happy, right? <laughs> Gotta keep the boys happy. 
right now they are securing down the sheet of my carta onto the router table. Jarvis doing a great job. Jarvis's bag. Got a click EDC, a fountain EDC on the front. Flashlight, not sure which one that is. So remember, boom boom. Boom Boom has the tail. Ooh, here are the lids for the wooden boxes. Actually, these are these are full wooden boxes. These are rough cut. These are not fine finished sanded yet. So they've got the silhouette of the lookout on the top. It comes out. There's just kind of an inner tray. This is what uh, this next batch is going to come with. The first ten came with these also. And then the bottom is cut out. It's got the hole for the COA coin. So these will get uh, finished sanded and oiled. These are all cut on the router table as well. So, and then there, it looks like they're kind of rough sanding them in here. Gosh, these things are cool. These are all sugar maple. This one's really cool. Dark grain marks are always so cool looking. So for this next 40, we are going to release these on our website. Here's what you need to do if you want to grab one. Make sure that you are signed up for the newsletter on our US website, BigEyeDesign.com. Big Eye, just the letter, Design.com. If you're signed up for that, we're going to send out that as a notification through that platform. So make sure you are signed up if you want to get in on these next 40 lookouts. Uh, anything after that is going to be a production run. So those are going to be machine ground. Um, uh, we're working on those right now, actually. We've already started production and uh, getting those ready uh, to be ground. But these first 40 are going to be hand ground with the box, with the COA coin. Um, a wrap goes around the box that's even printed here in town. So make sure that you are signed up for our newsletter. That's how we're going to release those. So go do that right now. Stop what you're doing. Do it right now. I'll try to put a link in the description. So Mac even 3 printed out these cool assembly trays. So we have a spot for the lookout to go. It's actually made for the lookout. Uh, and then a few little parts trays. So these are super cool. He has been putting that 3D printer to work. So the next group is all ground. So these need lasering, they need tumbling, and we've got to fit scales to them. He just finished grinding out the first 40. Um, so today, yeah, they're cutting out those scales. Here are some of the micarta scales after they come off of the router table. So these are all cut out just from a big sheet of green micarta. Beautiful material. You guys did a great job picking this color out. Uh, this, like I said earlier, is the most asked for handle material in that first video when we first talked about these. So we listened. This is what we're gonna run for the next 40. The first 10 were a black G10 scale. And so this next group is gonna be uh, OD Green Micarta. I'm personally very excited about that because that's a, one of my favorite colors. And uh, we're gonna go with that kind of tumbled stonewashed blade as well. And so the OD Green with a stonewashed accent is just probably my favorite. Um, if you have gotten any of like our green Cerakotes uh, pins or tools, uh, that's kind of my favorite thing to do is that green and stone wash together. I just think it works too well. Very excited that this is going to fit in line with that color scheme because I know a lot of you guys have those. We just did that run of them. Thank you for everyone that picked one of those up. Um, I hope you liked that video also. That was a lot of fun to shoot. A little bit more behind the scenes at our office, kind of what we do over there. I run uh, all the special editions, so if you have a special color that you have in mind that we have not done, um, put it in the comments. Let me know. Uh, is there a color in Cerakote run that you would love to see and maybe even what pin or tool you'd like to see it on? Throw it in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'm always looking for some feedback on those type things, and so uh, let me hear from you. So here in just a second, we're going to start hand fitting some of these scales onto these new knife blanks. We'll see how, uh, how Matt goes about that. Let's check it out. Going in and hand chamfering those, or fixing the chamfer. 
around the outside, just different size files. Has a whole drawer of them in micro files. So starting out like this, kind of rough fit them on a sander where the edge overlaps coming off of the router table. Then hitting them on just a big piece of sandpaper to get that edge nice and flat. Then actually coming in and hand shaping them, right? Am I missing any part of the process there? Then you polish. So all these are gonna be hand fit. <laughs> the mill will be here hopefully soon. Mac is a more patient man than I am doing all of these and letting me stick a camera in his face sometimes. He's a good dude. <laughs> Hit with some sandpaper after the file. When we say hand fit, these are truly hand fit. We're going to hit it on the buffing wheel. So started to buff that one, realized it's not perfectly straight. Now he's going back, he's going to file it some more get it fit a little tighter, get that hot spot out of it. Just a lot of back and forth, right? A little bit of dialing. Those are working hands right there. A little dirt under the fingernails. Yes? Invading people's privacy? What are you doing? <laughs> no. Apparently Danny says if you have a camera in your hand, it's not as intrusive. I think it's more intrusive, but I don't know, that's, maybe that's just Danny. What's well, Danny been doing with the camera? <laughs> No croutons, huh? No croutons. Really? You're not, a, croutons. you're not a crouton man? Uh, what What do they call you? What? Chef, boy, is this burnt. Chef, boy, is this burnt. Burn water. <laughs> burn water. <laughs> I think they called it boiling. No, no, it's burning. Oh, it's burned water? Yeah. What happened to your water? I burned it. I yeah, burnt it. Thank burnt. God for drive throughs Man, he would be dead if it weren't for drive throughs A little sneak peek what these are gonna look like. We're close to it. This isn't the final form. Stonewatch Titanium Hardware, which was made here. Of course, the blade will be tumbled. Yeah, that green micarta looks so good. I'm such a big fan of that. Remember, sign up for that newsletter. That's how you're gonna get one of these. Woo! I'm ready for it. I'm sure you boys are too. Oh yeah. <laughs> get, get, this, get this batch done and out the building. All right, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Thanks for having lunch with me. Thank you. That Korean food. This boy eats like a child, but he had some spicy chicken yeah. Korean. I don't remember the name of it. I think it was just spicy fried chicken. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, fried man. chicken. Gah. But it had onions on it. That's a vegetable. Well, it kicked him out the way. That's a vegetable. Yeah, Mac ate some tofu. He always eats tofu. That boy loves him some tofu. All right, I'll see you boys. That's all we've got today here down at the shop. We are getting those handles fit. The boxes are getting finished. The knives are done being ground. Um, just the finishing steps to go and that 40 are gonna be ready. So like I said, make sure that you are signed up for our newsletter. That is how we are going to announce this next release. Thanks for checking it out. If you are enjoying these, please subscribe, please comment, please like all that stuff that everyone says to do. Apparently it helps. We really appreciate you checking them out. We will see you in the next one.
So I got like, a, it's like a, those weird glasses they give you on like solar eclipse days. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you can like stare at the sun for too long. It's kind of like that, but with a camera. 